Thank you. Ah! Mm. Oh! Oh! Heavy tsunami! Ah! 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 The only thing water is. No. There's, There's no warm water Please. in the water. Ah! What's up guys, today we're gonna to be testing 10 different water survival tools to see how well they will help you survive in the ocean. So if you get lost in the ocean, don't worry. If you have these 10 objects, you'll be a-okay. After we use each one, we're gonna be rating them from one to 10 on how good we think they are. And also because of the lockdown, no pools or oceans are open currently. So we're gonna use our pool. There's a pool here. Dude, do water video. you see that? No. No, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> How did I survive that, dude? Ow! I cracked my hand on you on accident. Dude, I was fighting for my life that I didn't go in. All right, let's get danger. Our first item that we're gonna be testing is the Explorer 200. It's a survival raft and it comes with a little hand pump and if you need to quickly get on a boat, you can. On the packaging, it says it's a two person life raft. It's kind of small, I think it'll work. So we're gonna see if two people can fit in it too. So this is how they recommend you launch in, into the water. You recommend you take a nice stamp like this. They recommend that you do this. <laughs> wow, that was a good launch. That's how they recommend it. All right, bro, get in. Dude, this thing didn't tip over. Whoa! Oh, here. Get in the boat! Whoa! Whoa! It works! This is too small for two people. Right. If there's two people in this boat, you can't use the oars. Here, give me that. Oh, wait, you can do this. Here, go in here. Like this. There we go. There we go. Dude, we can totally save you! Brace for impact! Cool! Oh, Dude, this actually works pretty well. Large, it still works! Speed! Speed! Oh, it's oh, wet! Because your butt cheeks are on my legs, I don't like it! <laughs> There's not I feel your crack! <laughs> no, 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 it's great for the two of us! Stop! Stop! <laughs> you jerk! You <laughs> promise! No pushing in you! Oh. <laughs> I don't live here. I don't have any dry clothes. There's not enough space for two people. Don't give me a dry shirt. <laughs> we did not survive. So I'm gonna have to rate the boat probably a four out of ten because if you were in a storm ocean survival situation, I would be really scared. I would also rate it a four out of ten. My main concern was your butt cheeks on my leg. <laughs> that was uncomfortable. <laughs> That would have made my ex my survival experience even worse. <laughs> he would not have survived that. He would not have survived that. All right, on to item number two. <laughs> All right, matey, we're gonna get on to the item. I'm not gonna survive this video. So we have a survival mirror. First of all, look how crappy this mirror is. Attach the lanyard to the mirror, then replace it, place it around your neck. Step number two. Bring the mirror up to eye level and look through sliding hole. Wait, but there's no sun wait, out. Oh, what wait. if it's a cloudy day? Oh, you put the object inside the, the siding hole and then it'll reflect the light straight to it. There's no sun out. Yeah, wait, what if there's no sun? Dude, we're not gonna be saved. I'm gonna go to the other end of the yard and you shine it at me. I'll tell you if I see light. Okay. All right, I'm gonna shine it at you. Okay. I see the reflection, but I don't see any light because <laughs> It's not sunny out. That's a very bad thing for the survival tool. It doesn't work if there's no sunlight. Cannonball, no! So you need sun in order for this to work. Not good. Effectiveness, two out of 10. I'm rating it a five because on a sunny day, it might work for your benefit. Oh wait, there's a whistle on it. Oh. That's not a whistle. Yeah, it is. Why doesn't it work? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speaking of whistle, the next item is actually a whistle, but it's the world's loudest whistle. Combined scores, this gets a three out of 10. For item number three, we have a hyper whistle. This thing is so intense, you have to wear earplugs. So Ooh. I'm gonna give these to the cameraman. He has to hold the camera, so. Safety first, Ryan. What? <laughs> all, all of our neighbors in a two mile radius are gonna hear this. Do it again. Was that loud? It hurt my ears. <laughs> it hurt her ears from way over really? there. Really? Wait, do it again. Oh, that is loud. Oh, that echoed. All right, well, I'm gonna go drive two miles away. Jeffrey's gonna stay here, see if he can hear it. Oh, there you go. Hello? Hey, little nub. Hey, nub. Ready for me to test the whistle? 
I'm listening. All right, testing the whistle. Did you hear it? No. Are you serious? I'm gonna try and blow it a little bit louder. Did you I, hear it? No, I think there's just too much noise. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of cars driving by, so that's a problem. Didn't work underwater, didn't work a mile away, didn't live up to its name. I'm gonna give it a four out of 10 for what it advertised, but it is louder than normal whistles. I do think that is true. The, a four is a good solid rating because in some specific scenarios, it would work well. On to our next item. The next item is this cool little survival kit that Jeffrey will be testing up in the boat, bro. So I'm getting in here. Do not push me in again, Tubby. I won't. I promise this time. I mean, I promised the last time, but I, I, I actually promised this time. We're gonna embark on our adventure. So if you look like a toddler trying to row. This is a great survival kit for any boat, so there should be all sorts of supplies on here. First off, it looks like we got a, is this like a beacon? We need batteries. Yeah, I'll go fill it. Go give me batteries, boss. While he gets any batteries, we're gonna move on. We have uh oh, I think this might be a, a life-saving device. See, it's got a rope. Oh, this is a long rope. Is there a flotation device in here? What the? This is the, the flotation it gives? Just a rope? Is that all this is for? Where you just cast it out? Someone grabs it, you pull them in. That seems pretty useful. I and mean, it comes with this green capsule. Okay, well, mm -hmm. you got a whistle. There's a black box here. It's a survival knife. Dude, this is a pretty hefty knife. That's pretty cool. This oh. is what you're gonna use to gut your fish. The next item here is a professional flashlight for diving. Hey Chris, bad news. I need you to get more batteries. Are you kidding me? This needs Dude, it's batteries. a flashlight. Everyone knows how that works. Hey. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's another multi-tool. This could also be useful. Looks like there's pliers. It's got a knife on here. Okay, look, is this a blanket? A distress flag? Daytime visual distress signal for boats. Oh, that's cool. Why do you got a glitter? You always glitter. I know. So it <laughs> looks like you put this up and it's like, hey, check me out. Look, exclamation point to signal you're in distress. You to... Dude. <laughs> in the first aid kit, a waterproof first aid kit. Guys, we gotta catch a fish here. And the only thing that looks like a fish is, is my boat, so. No! Jeff! So quick, stop, stop. I don't wanna get wet. Jeff, the only thing you did was litter in the ocean. Look at that. This is a pool. You littered the ocean. It is now full of trash. I'm gonna give this kit my rating. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Jeff, I'm gonna give you a zero out of 10 for littering. What do you have to say for yourself? Trash. Oh, just an extra bottle item. <laughs> Cringy. So we were supposed to use um, the life raft that Jeffrey just popped for the next item, which is a bilge pump, and he popped it. But thankfully we have a kayak, so we're gonna use that. <laughs> nice. So we have this pump here called Better Boat. And allegedly, so you gotta connect this doohickey to this Jeff, thing. You dingus. What? Oh, <laughs> and it's supposed to help you pump water out. I'm gonna be simulating a sinking boat by pouring water into Jeffrey's boat while he's in there. I'm in. Are you ready? There it goes. Dude, wait, let me take my shirt off. You better get a bilge pump in too. Ah! Oh! Heavy tsunami! Ah! 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 There's no more water in the water. Ah! Stop. Stop more water. More water. It works. Shoot. Just wait. Find one, two, three, one. You're sinking. You're sinking. Well, folks, you're in a hurricane. You have the bilge pump. You're probably sinking. Well, it does pump water, but not at the rate of a tsunami. It's a tiny leak. I think it would work. Yeah, a tiny leak would definitely work. So I'm gonna, for that reason, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Cause look at, watch it. It does work. This is, that's actually a lot of water. Now we're gonna test how long it takes for this bilge pump to empty this kayak. All right, three, two, one, go. My arm's getting tired. Wait, Jeff, you're getting water back in. I already feel it getting lighter. 
<laughs> if you can't let more water get in. I'm not. There's more water's getting in. So that's why I want you to hold it while you're out of the jacuzzi. Just stop pumping <laughs> in the boat. Dude, I hope I've never lost that sea with this dude. Dude, what are you? <laughs> I quit, dude. I'd drown. I don't care. Well. Two minutes, 20 seconds. And he didn't, no damage. Item number six, we have an inflatable PFD, also known as PUFT. Personal flotation device. Now to be confused with QDF, which means personal documentation for dice. I don't think that's what it means. So you have this little air canister and it's supposed to instantly inflate this PFD. Yeah, when you pull violently. this when you pull this lever, this will inflate. It even works underwater, which is what we're gonna test out. It's amazing that a bunch of air is just compressed in this tiny canister. Hey, it's no. Gonna... It inflates in five seconds, so it's not like super insane. That's good. So right there is green, so that means it's ready, armed for use. So Chris, you're gonna go into the water, you're gonna pull it, and then we're gonna see if you float. So Jeff, I'm gonna be stranded in the water, and you're gonna have to yeet this across the yard to me, then I'm gonna use it. Okay, in the water, bud. How cold is it? Oh! <laughs> that is the second time, Whoa! No! no. It, I didn't do anything, it just did it by itself! What the flip? I didn't do anything. Here, Chris, jump in. Whoa, whoa. All right, Chris, I'll save you. What the heck, Jill? I'll save you, bro. Whoa. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey, that's warm. Well, Jeff, you ruined it. I didn't do anything. Jeff, you ruined it. I didn't do anything. I'm gonna see if I can eat it 40 feet. Yeah, yeah. About 40 oh. feet, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Did I honestly rate that a 10 out of 10? That thing's yeah, cool. Yeah, but it, I rate you zero out of 10 for inflating it I, prematurely. Dude, I was holding it. And it just went <laughs> I literally didn't do anything. Ryan, did you get that on camera? No. Are you serious? You. How could you? I was just holding it. Jeff, you know how many things you spoiled in this video? I inflated the thing of a bob. I... So now you admit it? No. I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> well, I honestly rate that 10 out of 10. That yeah, is that's cool. so cool. Like you just throw it, you pull it, and you get saved. What do you rate my yeet? I hate, I yeeted it. I rate, I yeeted, <laughs> I rated 40 out of 40 for 40 feet. Well, let's move on to number seven. Item number seven, we've got this cool snorkel mask. I've always wanted one of these. It allows you to put a GoPro here, so if you don't know if you're gonna make it, you can film the whole thing. Your, your whole demise. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put on the face. That's cool. Wait, come back up here. Jeff, go test it in the pool. Okay. No crack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scuba Steve. What's going on? Okay, let's guess what I'm saying, okay? Sure. I like tacos. I like tacos. <laughs> Next race. Let's go to the pizzeria. <laughs> let's go to the pizzeria. Um, a little bit like that. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh. How was it? I don't know how it's a survival tool, but... Well, I just wanted one, to be honest. Ooh. It works cool. I think for the rating, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Dude, this is the coolest snorkel mask I've ever had. And my one complaint is when you go deep, it like stretches your face like this. The view of vision that you have with this compared to other ones is just so amazing. So clear, so beautiful, Eight out of very 10? stylish. I'm gonna say 9 out of 10. And it has that cool mat mount on it, which is really cool. Yeah, you can put your GoPro right here. So I guess I'll agree with you, 9 out of 10 for this snorkel survival water pool. I call dibs. <laughs> for our next items, we're actually gonna do 8 and 9 at the same time. Number 8 are these giant, most expensive flippers you can buy on Amazon. And they're webbed gloves. They're really weird, and I had to get them. We're gonna see what's which one's better for swimming, and like, which one can swim the quickest. Does it feel like it gives you like good? Oh swim? yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's some speed right there. Some good pull. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put these slippers on. Those are bigger than you, bro. Huge. Well, I, oh, hey, why are you swinging those things? Bro. Have you got Ryan wet? Someone peed my pants. <laughs> Someone peed your pants? Yeah, I didn't do it. All right, I'll see you in there. These are huge. What am I, a duck? Quack, 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 quack. Dude, I feel like these don't really give you much speed. These flippers are too big for my feet. Flop, Jeff. Flip and flop. They're hard to like maneuver with. And I don't feel like I'm getting any... I actually feel like I'm being slowed down. Do not buy these. How much were these things? Uh, $300. What? what? This was $300? I think. Not worth it. These are for deep sea diving. Yeah, I feel like if you're deep sea diving. Jeff, fill me with these. When you're bringing your hand up like this, it creates drag. I think it definitely helps more than just having regular hands, but it doesn't work that well. I'm gonna rate the flippers three out of 10. And these? Actually, I'm gonna rate them one out of 10. For being $300, they deserve a crappier rating. These are pretty cheap. Makes you look like a frog. They're kind of fun to play with. A six out of 10 for fun. Okay. For our final item, we have this harpoon spear and it launches it out um, using this elastic thingy majiggy. Here's the tip of it. As you can see, it doesn't need to be that sharp. It will cause the fish to be injured to the point of no swimming. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and demo it. And we're also gonna pretend my hat is a fish and we'll see if it can catch my hat. So you clock it in, you gotta pull back. This. It, was that thing. it wasn't even loaded. You are about to load it. And it's loaded. Should we shoot it? We'll shoot it this way. See how far it goes. Ready? Oh, geez. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> it landed. It wow. Landed. What the? <laughs> I'm gonna put this mask on from earlier and we're gonna hunt my hat. Look at this floppy fish. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go through it. Oh, maybe that is another. Go, go. It completely went through my hat. Dude. This is my favorite hat. Why did I do that? Jeff, take your mask off. All right, this is my favorite hat and it put a hole straight through it. Whoa. That's cool though. And hey, we're gonna shoot this apple. You didn't hear that, folks? He's gonna shoot the apple. Oh, oh shoot! Oh. I think it just bounced off. I did. You almost popped the trampoline, bro. Okay, yeah. I want to aim better. Tag number 10. Oh! He missed. Oh! <laughs> it Whoa. worked! It worked! There it is. <laughs> Check it out. Dude. It went straight through the apple. This would totally get a fish, dude. So now we're going to shoot it from outside the water. If you're like um, on land trying to shoot a, a fish, we're going to test it out. So let's see the, say the fish comes up to the water like this. I missed it. You ready? Did it just go straight through it? No. no. I, it, I hit it, but it went right through there. Oh. Okay, we're trying to be careful not to chip my pool, so that's why I'm getting so close to it and shooting horizontal, but. Gosh dang it. Five minutes later. So we're gonna be right there's a 10 out of 10 because you wouldn't 100% catch a fish with this. All you gotta do is just put a, a fishing line on it. That way you don't lose your spear. I really like this. I'm actually gonna keep it and hopefully go fishing with it sometime soon. So I might actually get one of those to be honest. How much was it? This is like probably hundred bucks, 200 bucks maybe. So we're gonna give our top three favorite water survival items. Number one, obviously this really cool spear gun. This is awesome and would work super well in a survival situation. Number two, this really cool snorkel mask. It's honestly my favorite snorkel mask I've ever used. It would also pair well with the harpoon gun so you can see underwater and then hunt some fish. And then number three, we've got this self-inflating PFD or PUFT. Not to be mistaken with a PDF. It's super quick. Plus you can compact. blow it up uh, like this if Jeffrey accidentally used the CO2 can. 
Well, anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click right here for another survival tool video. Click right here for a video that YouTube recommends for you. Click in the middle to subscribe, and we will see you next time. Dodge the challenge! Shoot. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't shoot the survival bag. I hate it. Oh, oh, oh. That was you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. My Mickey. Oh, Mickey, man. <laughs> yup. <Yeah. laughs>